take about an eight inch length of string and we want to leave a tail of about six inches, so quite a nice tail. And we're just going to make a loop and we're going to chain three. This counts as one and we're going to do two, three. Once we do have our chain three, we're going to go back to our very first little chain and we're going to insert the hook in the middle of it, put yarn over and draw it through. And we now have um, two on there. We're going to draw it through the next one. Now what we're doing on the ear, the first one is a triple crochet. And that's one, two, three, four. You need four for your triple crochet. After you've turned your work, you're going to loop your yarn over the needle once and twice. Come back in and go into the center of that uh, loop that we made and pull out, hook over yarn and pull it out. We now have one, two, three, four stitches on. We're going to yarn over, draw it through two of the loops, yarn over, draw it through two of the loops, yarn over, draw it through two of the loops. That's why it's called a triple crochet. You do it um, three times. We're going to do eight of these. Now that we finished our first row of triple crochet, we're going to chain two, and we're going to turn our work, and we're going to start single crochet on the way across. We want this to flare a little bit, so we're going to, normally we would skip this very thing here, but we're going to put two, so there's here's our first one, and here's our second one, single crochets in there, so that it gives it a little extra stitch to flare it. So this is called a single crochet, and we're going to do this all the way across. Here's our end, which is our original chain four, and we're going to do two single crochets in that, two single crochets, and then we're going to loop over, pull it through, and cut it off. You'll see that we have quite a bit of yarn here left. We're not actually going to need this much to start um, our uh, insert. I'll show you how we're going to do that. So I'm going to cut about that much off. So this is our elephant ear. You'll see on the diagram that we have a spot at the base of the neck to attach. We come in and, and do a knot here at the uh, about midway point, so one stitch down from the top, and then we do one, uh, two stitches over. These, there are five stitches at the top of the head. We're going to go into the middle and attach our um, final side. So what we're going to do, I'm going to come through right here where I told you, and I'm going to pull this down and through. And then the base of this stitch, the base in between the first and the second, and I'm going to come and take that right about here. So we're again, the top five, we're going to go down one on the back here. And we're going to come through and we're going to loop that and pull it through everything. So we've got it through the blanket itself and then through the ear. Now we're going to come up through the center hole. I'm coming from the very in between my fifth and my fourth stitch. I'm going to pull that down, this one down first. Did it come? Yes. Pull it through. Then I'm going to come up on just the other side of that stitch that I just put. So see here, I'm going to come right here on this other side of the stitch. So again, I'm working in between and I'll pull this through. Now I'm going to take these two and knot them. We want to pull a little taunt. See, we're starting to get a little bit of a gather there and a little bit of a curve there. So we're going to pull a little taunt and we're going to knit uh, net. We're going to tie one, two. Make sure it's a nice firm knot. We don't want any of this coming out. And then we're going to come up here into this one, uh, last your top single crochet. And I'm going to go down through my middle stitch. So I've got one, two, and here's my middle on my top of my head. I'm going to pull this through and then through my ear, there we go. And then we're going to come up 
in between the second and third stitch on this very top, so right there, and then we're going to grab the yarn and pull it through. And we're going to knot it. Okay, once we have that knot tight and secure, come fan out your ear, make sure you're happy with it, and that looks like exactly what we want. These ears will tend to fold over, so we're going to tack it down right here. Pick a middle, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I have 11 stitches on this, so 11. We're gonna come right through, and not at the very top, because if that folds over, that's fine. We're gonna go in by the triple crochet, and pick up from back in here. We're going to cut off the excess from our ear pieces. Loop this in the middle, put it around your crochet hook, pull all of it, no, just a loop through. We want to hold, oh, well, I stopped that. All right. So now we're going to go through this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. We're not going to go through the single crochet, but we're going to go in one, two, three, four, five. So through this one, and just lay your ear out where you think you want it to set, and we're going to go all the way through the blanket. Push that through, and we'll loop that, which, you, which we just cut off the ear that we made. Loop that over. We're going to hold one end tight, we're going to hold them both tight, pull up a loop, but remain holding on to one end so that you can come back and get it and tie it. So we're going to pull this all the way through. Sometimes you have to maneuver a little bit. Now underneath, I'm holding on to one of them. So I've dropped one and I'm holding on to one. And I'm going to pull. That brings it all the way up. Now I know I'm going to go through, I'm going to insert my needle on the other side of that piece of yarn. So just come in here and kind of meander your way through. Grab this, and we're gonna pull that through. We have two pieces. Tie once, tie twice. That's it, cut off the excess. All right, see that ears now will stand up and you can flare it out, but it's not going to flop all the way over like this one might, or stand straight up like this one might. So, um, or see here how this one has just really bowed. So because we've got that flare there, we need to push it out, tack it down, and then it can flare if it wants, but it's going to hold its place where it needs to stay instead of coming. Okay, here's our tail. We have about an 8-inch piece of yarn, and I've put it through the wide needle again. But and this time I'm just going to come in here, so I'm not the first time it went in. I'm coming to the second stitch in on the top, and I'll go on one side. Let's see, I should come this way. Yeah, I'll go on one side and down the other. Turn that over. I'm going to take this through. And knot it. Now I know a lot of people don't like to knot um, because this is a baby blanket. I leave just a very short tail on this, by the way. But because this is a baby blanket, I knot because I don't want any of this coming loose. So you'll see that I, I knot. And um, yeah, with the backing and everything, they're not gonna. Their little bodies aren't gonna feel that. Now that I'm ready to do the tail, I'm gonna take my crochet hook. It's a size G. It is a 4.5 millimeter. And I'm going to want my tail to start right here on the back. So I'm going to pull, actually go over and pull up my first loop here. You kind of have to work your yarn through. So now I have my loop on this side. You can see my little loop. And then I'm going to come over, keeping this on. I'm going to come over into the very first stitch on that back and pull up another loop. So I have two loops, but actually I'm going to take that last one and pull it all the way through. So this is going to be my feed line. 
Now, because you don't want your elephant tail sticking up in the air, we're not gonna knit up, and we're not gonna crochet up. We're gonna turn this here, and I'll take and just crochet down. And we're gonna do one, oops, one, two, three, oh, what am I doing right here? Four, five, and pull the last one out. Hold it firmly while you pull down. Now this is too long of a little tail. Here's my knot. I'm gonna use about a half an inch after that, and we flare that out. So just pull that all apart and f um, give it that little elephant tail fuzz at the bottom. Make sure that's all. And that's our elephant tail. First, we're gonna lay out our backing so that it's nice and smooth here. Make sure that you wash your backing first so any shrinking will be done before you put on the blanket piece. And then we put on our blanket on top carefully, making sure that we have edges that will fold over and make a nice, neat loop. Because of the tendency of this kind of blanket to have this kind of fold over anyway, we're gonna be really careful and go to the edge of this and sew there so that we don't exaggerate that tendency. And then we're going to start on the center elephant. Go ahead and cut. So what we're gonna do now is work on one of the eyes, like this one here. Um, we've already made the ear and the tail, but we're gonna start in the center with this. What I do is I just take a scrap piece of um, Lion's homespun yarn because it's kind of bulky and messy like that. Here, so I, I tie a knot right in the middle to leave me those good strong ends to go through both layers of, uh, I tie it loosely so it'll be a bigger eye look. Tie it twice so it looks like I've got a little eye there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and go into the center out of our blanket we're gonna start in the center because we're going all the way through to the knit to the um, underneath, all the way through, and it'll hold it's the backing better in place. So now that we're on our center elephant here, we only have left to put on his eye. I've done the knot. Get one of your big eyed needles so that you can easily stick the yarn through. I usually wet it, you know, you know how we are. This is why you have to wash everything before you give it away. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to take it on, let's see, we're one, two, three, four stitches down and one stitch over. So I'm coming right in here. Let me go through. I've got a sharper needle, so I'm going to punch through both um, my knitting and my um, backing on the other side. Hold your knot so it doesn't get, and then just pull that through. Here we go. Pull that all the way through. Take your needle off. Now we're going to have to smooth again because we don't want that getting messy. And you can see how cute our little eye is going to look. So now we're going to put the other side. Another trick is to put your needle in the middle and then pull each side down really firmly and take your needle out and then when you go to put your needle on you have a nice firm base for that and then you can just pull that through. So we're just going to leave a little bit of a tail here and we're going on the other side of that and again make sure this is nice and smooth and we'll push all the way through. Let's see what we've got here. See there's no wrinkles in the middle of that. Go ahead and pull this all the way through and then we're just going to lightly knot it once and then twice. And then we'll leave that on the other side. We'll probably cut that a little shorter so that it's not quite like that, but just a little shorter. And we'll cut it right like this. And then we've just got a nice little tie that'll kind of hold the backing into place.